Hello, I'm John Claiborne from the Bashful Puppet blog. We've been working here on a prairie dog, and we're ready now to begin trimming the fabric so that it will be ready to tuck inside. I want to show you what we're going to do. What I'm, what I'm doing is I've got the fabric, and I try to lay it out. It's, it is all sewn together all the way down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, quilters grid. It, uh, uh, quilters have a lot of handy uh, tools that you can use for for measuring because quilting is kind of a precise thing. And this is, I, I find, very handy for this particular task. What I'm doing is I'm trying to lay my puppet out here so that the the fabric lays flat. Then I'm just going to take my grid here and I'm going to lay it so that the it, it lies square along the bottom edge of the foam on my fabric. And then I'm just going to go and I'm going to mark three inches a few times across my fabric. Then once I have those dots there, I'll just line them up. The one in the center is kind of insurance to make sure everything lines up right. And then I have a straight line. You notice it's not even along here, but when I cut it, it will be even all reach evenly down into the puppet. So now I'm going to trim that off. And this part is going to tuck right down inside the puppet. Now, we're going to turn it. And with the orange fabric, we're going to do the same thing. Right down here. So it's right along the edge of the foam on the puppet. Now this isn't square along here at all. It's very odd, but because I'm using the edge of the foam on the puppet as my reference, I can get a nice straight line there. And we'll trim that off. And now for the last segment. Position our grid here. I don't actually quilt. My wife is a quilter, and uh, because of that, I get to use some of her handy tools. So, kind of nice having a crafty family. All right. Now that we're done trimming this off, I'm going to start the next part of the trimming process by tucking the fabric for the breast down into the puppet. Get it all tucked in there nice and evenly. And now because the inside of this circle is smaller than the outside, I know that there's going to be some excess inside, and I want to trim off some of that excess. So I'm going to just clip in there. Take a little bit of that excess and on the other side as well. All right, I think that's going to be good. Now, carefully tucking in the other sides. Why didn't I sew that all the way down? Because it's not going to be what I want. 
to sew down that edge. All right, now, if we look down in there, you can see there's quite a bit of overlap between this and the yellow. So I want to trim that back, which is kind of tricky. So because there is so much, it's hard for me to see exactly where it's lying. Okay, looks like I got the bottom right, but the top is still not. All right. Now, the seams are pretty close. I think they're close enough. So now I'll go over to the other side. Make sure this is laying down in there nice and right. And let me try something different here. right these three seams should lie just the way they ought to so I'm going to kind of eyeball the next one just kind of go straight down trim this right in here. I'll be able to sew these seams right up, tuck them down inside, and when we come back, we'll glue them all in place. All right. That's it for this segment of uh, the Prairie Dog Build. I'm John Claiborne from Bashful Puppet Blog. Happy puppet building.